Alright, hey guys, uh, today I've got a deck review for the Streamline Picker deck. It comes in a red and a blue. There's the red, here's the blue. But we're not using the blue. Um, this is what the blue looks like. Um, yeah, doesn't matter. Um, Alright, so let's look at the box first. On the box we have Poker Streamline uh, with a ace symbol and like some designs down here. Uh, on top we have the opening. On this side it says United States Playing Card Company. On the other side it says Made in the USA. And here's what the back of the deck looks like. Um, not really sure how to describe it. It's got like intricate design of coolness, I guess. Anyway, that's what the box is. Let's pull up the cards. Um, I've already used these cards, so they're not in order. Uh, here's what the Ace of Spades looks like. It's got, like, the spade with, like, an outer deck with the pips, and the writing at the bottom, Made in USA, US Card Company, and uh, that's pretty much it for the ace. Not very cool. All right, let's look at the design of the card. Here's what the design of the card looks like. I don't really know how to describe it, but it's like flower, flowers and lines and things like flowery. Um, so that's basically how that is. Uh, I just kind of found this. My it's kind of it, but this is what the Joker is. It literally is the Joker, unlike some decks. Um, it says Joker on the top and bottom, and it says plastic coated. It's got like a plastic coat on the top of it, which makes it really smooth. Um, this one's bent, because I've used it. I know I don't need it. Alright, let's get into the feel of the deck. When you pick up the deck, you instantly think, wow, this is, it's already got like a smooth coating on top, which makes it really easy for spreading cards. And, uh, on the table, spreads really easily, you know, it's pretty even across. I'm limited to space, so. Yeah, let me see if I can cut the cards in half and do it. Alright, here we go. Yeah, so it spreads pretty easily. And, um, it does have, like, a smooth back. It has, like, a really smooth feel to it. Just when you're holding the cards in your hand to when you're holding the deck, even the sides of the deck, like on this side, it just feels really smooth. The only bad thing is they kind of bend easily. Um, not really though. See, just with that, you kind of bent. Make me ruin my cards. Anyway, yeah. So, they fan pretty good. Let me try that again. I'm not really good at. Hold on. Just get this up a bit. So they do fan pretty well, and uh, that's pretty much it for uh, this deck. Um, this is a pretty low line deck. It's like a dollar at Target or something, um, but they are very good <laughs> cards to use for just a dollar. Um, and if you're a beginner, they're even better. Um, they're pretty easy to get piggy breaks in for the double lift. You know, just that kind of card stuff. It's also great because the tops are really smooth and they're easy to do ball shuffles with. Um, 
They slide really well. Um, if you're trying to do like a grip the card trick, like from your palm, it is kind of difficult. So you might just want to watch out for that. Um, depending on how advanced or unadvanced you are. But otherwise, this is a pretty nice deck. I would definitely recommend it. Alright, see you guys later.